to start with rice, just plain rice. You can use any rice, short grain, long grain, whatever you have extra at home. We're going to boil it just with a little bit of water. I'm going to mix it with quinoa flakes. The reason I use quinoa flakes is going to give it the texture of whole wheat bread and a nice fiber. And then a little bit of olive oil, and that's it. So just for time, I already boiled the rice. So I'll add the rice, boiled rice, in the bowl. And don't be afraid to use your hand. A real chef always uses their hands. And we have the flakes. A little bit of olive oil. And then mix it. You're going to have a sticky dough. Now, all what you need to do is wet your hand with the olive oil. Take a ball and flatten it on a cookie sheet. And if you like, you can basically make the dough thick and bigger for a pizza crust. And then all what you need to do is to take it and bake it in the oven. Now you have your bread. The bread should be nice and golden, not brown. Brown would be hard, would be more like a chips. But if you, at this color, if you hold it, see how nice and flexible it is. And you can use it for all your, what you, person would use flat bread for. Another tip is that, like I said before, if you make it a little bit bigger, a little bit thicker, at this stage when it's golden, you move it out of the oven and you add your tomato sauce, you add your cheese, you add anything you would put normal on a, your own pizza and put it back in the oven, about the 375 oven for about five minutes and you have a nice pizza that a person who's gluten sensitive can enjoy it. Mm -hmm.